We begin this Monday night with chemical concerns along a stretch of the Farmington River during the height of the summer fishing and boating season. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis House. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. Toxic firefighting foam leaked into a river in the Windsor area last month and now the spill is getting the attention of the governor's office and there is a plan in the works to keep this from happening again. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is live now with more on what is being done. Courtney. Well, there were two meetings about this issue today. One was with U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. The other was with Governor Ned Lamont. Both are working together so this does not happen again. If you plan to fish along the Farmington River in the Windsor area, you will need to toss back what you catch. I'm concerned about the frogs and the, the ospreys and the eagles. I bird watch. Uh, what is this doing to them? Up to 50,000 gallons of water and PFAS foam stored at Bradley International Airport leaked into the Farmington River last month. This is the area that's affected. It starts from the Bequanic Avenue area in Windsor to where it dumps into the Connecticut River. The town of Windsor is alerting residents and fishermen not to eat the fish. It's been deemed to be safe for recreational use. Just Please don't eat any fish that are taken out. These yellow signs are posted saying don't eat the fish, but you have to look for them. Boating and swimming are okay. Officials are also concerned for homeowners who have wells. There are up to 20 private wells in Windsor. Windsor's mayor, along with U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal, talked today about the impacts this foam could have on people. We know it causes cancer, thyroid disease, liver damage. We want to know all of the health effects. They want it to be deemed hazardous, and he plans to take that to the federal level. Testing has been done in this stretch of the river. Officials say there were high levels on the first day, but it has decreased significantly. Those who live along the river are still concerned. They said they are going to clean up. What does that mean, and how do you clean up when they are spraying this on crops. How do you, I mean, this is a giant area. Now, if you have eaten the fish, deep officials say don't be alarmed. The problem here is long-term exposure, but again, don't eat the fish until that advisory is lifted. When that will be, we don't know just yet. We, of course, will keep you posted on that. Coming up at 6, though, we're going to talk about this committee that has been formed, how they plan to act. Plus, we're going to talk more about this chemical because it is in things we use pretty much every day. We will see you at 6 o'clock and we'll touch on those issues. For now, we're live at the mobile newsroom from Hartford. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.